Um, let me say this here. Reselling your soul to God. Reselling your soul to God. I want you to think about that. Reselling your soul to God. Remember, you've been bought with a price, right? All right. But reselling your soul to God. See, when you wake up in the day and you got the mindset that you're going to give Jesus your all, no matter what, you, you're reselling your soul. Um, now, the economics of the soul is that souls are being bought all the time, traded, uh, robbed. Remember King Jesus said you can lose your soul? So, so there's an economic soul system where, 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 where uh, your soul can get repossessed. If your soul get repossessed, that means that it was in proper ownership and by another owner. Um, so here's what happens when your vehicle get repossessed is because you're not making no payments. The way that you keep your soul from being repossessed is that you constantly make payments. You pay your vows. You pay attention. I'm looking for them. Turn off the lights. <laughs> now, don't turn the lights off. We, we need to see in here. We need to see in here. We need to see what's going on in here. Now, look at this here. And so these are the payments. These are the payments that you have to pay so that your soul don't get traded, uh, that your soul don't get repossessed in the soul economic system because watch what King Jesus did. He talked about the soul as if it was money. He said, what does it profit you to gain the world and lose your own soul? He talked about profit, the P R O F, the same profit that you make with financial business. He said, what financial business? How did your business go up higher? If you lose your soul. So, so where is the profit at? Where's the gain? Where's the abundance? Where's the increase? How did you become successful, prosperous if your soul get lost? And, and then watch what he did. I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. He talks about your soul prospering as if your soul is money. So obviously your soul is a place where you purchase from God. Listen to me. That's why the Bible say in James, it says that if a man is double minded, don't think that he could receive anything. Don't think that he could purchase anything. Don't think that the exchange can happen from God to him. So your soul matters. Your soul matters. The Havila era will last as long as your soul is in love with the spirit of the living God. The Havila era will last as long as your soul wants truth and your soul wants righteousness and your soul wants obedience. Your soul wants surrender. As long as your soul wants the fear of God, the Havila era will last as long as you desire. The father has his own mall. He'll take you shopping. But the first shopping that the Holy Ghost want to take you is in the shopping of putting on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, putting on the garments of grace and glory. The Bible said in Psalm 84, he'll give you grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those that walk uprightly. Putting on the proper clothing firstly. Remember Jesus had on a hem. He had on a garment rather. Remember that garment was the place that that woman entered before she entered into Jesus' heart. 
she was able to put on the garment first. She was able to put on the garment first. That garment was the first thing that she had an encounter with. The garment is where God wants to become one with your mentality, with your decision making, with your choice of weapons, with your choice of words, with your choice of thoughts, with your choice of meditation, with your choice of company, with your choice of goals. What is your goals? How could you be a virtuous woman and you don't have any virtuous woman goals? How could you be a king and you don't have any kingly goals? How could you resist the devil if you don't have submission goals? How could you operate out of depression if you don't got any praise goals? How could you multiply if you don't got any thanksgiving goals? How could you receive God's honor if you don't have any sowing goals? How could you receive God's information if you don't got any attentiveness goals? How could the Lord show you who you really are in the spirit if you don't have any focus goals? How could the Lord give you special crowns if you don't have any consistency goals? How could the Lord deliver you from any pain if you don't have any determination goals? You have to realize the gold mine that's inside of you, the golden grace that's inside of you. You have golden grace inside of you, abilities of God that's going to work through you for the next three days. You have three days of the abilities of God working through you. You have three days of the abilities of God working through you. You have 72 hours of golden grace, 72 hours of golden grace. 72 hours of golden grace. Your Havila starts inside of you. Your Havila starts inside of you. Your Havila is not a natural geography on the outside. It is a spiritual geography in the man, in the mind. Is is a mold. It's a mold. It's a mold that you step into. M-O-D-E. It's a mold that you choose to operate in. It's a mold that you choose to think. A mold you choose to decree. A mold you choose to act. In a mode of attitude, a zone of conduct, choosing the conduct of excellence, hosting the father 24 seven, hosting his needs, hosting his desires. It is a golden grace. I receive 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 golden grace. It is the supernatural abilities of the father. Living inside of you 24-7 is golden grace.